What's going on YouTube? Chugging the life here one more time, guys. Guys and girls and girls and girls. And girls. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry about the road view, guys. I'm trying to shoot the videos as much as I got time to do it. Might be going on a blank trip right now because I got to go to this rail yard. That's showing in the app and showing the box not there, but they saying it's there. So I gotta go see if I'm there. And that brings me to my point of this video, man. Of a doggy dog, guys. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Okay, it's not there. Like, like, like for example, 
I was in the rail yard looking for some empties, and the way my pay system set up, I don't get paid for my efforts. <laughs> I may get a stop off if I go to a customer and the load ain't there or the load got took you or know, the load got canceled, but I was out at the customer, I get a stop off pay. That's one way you can pay for your efforts. But when you want to rail y'all look with some empties, you ain't get paid for your efforts, man. Not not me. So if it come to a, a a box that I have to make sure it's good order, chassis and good order box, you know what good order is? Go back to the channels on the video somewhere on here. A good order box and good order chassis. I gotta make sure it's good enough to get out and get up the road, right? But if I'm in there for four hours, three hours, one hour, too long, and I had to go, I had to come out that yard with something, what do you guys think is gonna happen? I'll let you think about that for a minute. And don't let it be, you gotta take that box to a customer, and then one of your guys gotta pick it back up, your coworker gotta pick it back up, take it back wherever you gotta go. Now you may say, man, I wanna leave out the rear yard with some boxes that look like that. I ain't gonna say on here how they'll look, but I'm just saying. My question to you is, you wasted three hours in a yard, if you come out with nothing, now you wasted three hours, now you wasted fuel driving around looking for some stuff, and you leave out with zero, versus you finding something, key, something, and you're leaving out with something, now you got paid for your time being in that yard. I said the dog eat dog because if it's between one owner operator or another owner operator, who do you think they're gonna choose? I gotta eat. I'm out here spending all this time trying to find something. If I don't find nothing, I ain't get paid for it. So they manage, let's say they find some kind of bogus in the rail yard, they get it to the customer. Now the customer do what they do with the box, they may load it, unload it, or whatever the case may be. And the next guy come in to get the box and he found out the landing arm, landing arm is missing, but uh, it's missing a pin or it's a couple of flats on there. You're like, man, these guys rolling here dirty. Now your first instinct is to get mad, like you scumbag drivers, you mother cluckers, you and your son buckers. But then you gotta think for a minute. They probably spent, I don't know how amount of time trying to get that box ready. Or they probably didn't care. They probably just pulled it anyway. But let's just say they put effort in, try to get that box. Or try to find a box. Now in the same dilemma you or you will be in. Okay, I ain't, I'm not gonna pay nothing for this. So I'm gonna bring a box and drop it off and it's gonna be bogus. So now what you gonna do? That's the question. What you gonna do? You gotta do something. You gotta do something. So the whole core of this story is it's an owner, owner operated business, a dirty, dirty business and rail yard business because a lot of owner operators don't get paid by the hour, they get paid by the move and by the mile. So if they're not moving something, they go move something, if they gotta move it kind of bug a lotion a little bit, they gonna move something, but the next guy to come behind them get it, man, man oh man. Now he gotta make some life changing decisions or she gotta make some life changing decisions, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, man. So like, it, it ain't it ain't personal. So I was telling the business owner guy, the brother who had, who had this authority, I said, hey man, you might want to find a way to protect yourself because owner operators go do what they got to do to get their money for that day. And they don't get paid for the efforts. They go out that day to make a certain amount of money, especially if they were in a motor, and they come back home with nothing. Mama ain't gonna be too happy, and the kids ain't gonna be too happy. So he don't want to face all that. <clears throat> so he come back with something, so now, in the process, sometimes, sometimes, the owner operator get caught right out that dirty man with a dirty box trying to make his donuts for that day, and now it messes up your DOT number. So now it messes up your DOT number. So now, question is, do you get mad at the owner operator? Or do you find how, or do you find out a way to kind of protect your DOT? That's a rhetorical question, guys. That really ain't a, 
that really ain't nothing I really want you guys to answer. I'm just saying, think about that. It's a doggy dog. It's a doggy dog because it's forced that way. The rail yard, and also too, don't let it be a pickup number or a booking number that you got to use by a certain amount of time. Otherwise, the booking number no good. The company get charged for the booking number because they ain't use it. So whatever the case may be, and now you said they got no money for that day. Come on, man. That's why I say it's a doggy dog, man. So I had a trailer. It's the last story, guys, and I'm going to cut it short. I had a trailer the other day that was uh, that was pretty jacked up, man. Like the lights left the building. It was literally, literally, literally light work. Light work, man, light. None of the marker lights work. None of the clearance lights work. Lights play light didn't work. None of that stuff. And they had a couple other issues, you know what I'm saying, that I had to, you know, get squared away, but I can say them here. So I was looking at the chassis, I was looking at it, it was at nighttime too, so the lights had to work. Or they had to work. So I was like, man, what, what guy or gal brought this here like this, man? And then I thought about it. Say, you know what? They was getting about that jam. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little salty. Now, at that point, it's on me to make a choice. Now, Big Bird may hit you with this. Hey, you call Big Bird, hey man, this box is bogus. I can't pull this, man, they got issues, man. And they tell you, hey man, that's all we got for today, man. You go, could you get it somewhere safely or what you gonna do? And you like, I need this load for the day, man. I gotta get more cheese on my burgers, baby. So now you gotta make a choice. <laughs> what you going to do, driver? That's what I'm saying, man. It's a doggy dog. So now what am I going? What am I going to do? Well, I ain't got to still hit what I did, but you know, you guys who were following me, a while, you already know what I did. I got about that jam, and that load got delivered safely. You know, because your boy got a unique set of unique unique set of skills that that was good to the application and process. But that box was in a dilemma, a situation ship. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Man, eating toes, man. I mean toes right now, guys. And get out. What happened over there, man? I don't know. That oh, was an accident, I guess. See? Now, what if I was sitting over there? I don't know if you guys see over there on the other side over there. It's, it's stopped traffic over there. They sit still. It's an accident right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Man, now, like I said, what if I was sitting in that and I wanted to get paid for a load that's yeah, supposed to be in the yard? It ain't there. What if? What if? You know what I'm saying? What if? But I thank God I'm not. We rolling at least. All I'm doing is eating some toes. I ain't sitting in no traffic right now. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, guys, that's it for this video, man. Like I say, man, YouTube, I'm, I am trying to appease both audiences right now while I'm still in the truck. Don't get me wrong, I just moved. I mentioned in the video, so my stuff at the crib is all over the place. And my car situation, everything's all over the place right now. So I'm trying to shoot videos, keep content coming. And I haven't did the last because I'm, a, I'm organized right now. Stuff is not in order right now, guys. So I will resume the last at the appointed date. But right now, it is what it is, you know? So it's the video road view. For those who don't, who don't get out here, who don't drive, driving with me today, God dog it. While I'm still in the truck, man. Eating some toes, man. Eating some toes. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it, guys. Oh, man, I really be losing the guys all sitting over there. They sitting still, man. Oh, man, I don't be losing it. I'll, I'll be going crazy in that truck over there, man. But anyway. Hi, right, YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going around, Jim. I'll see you guys in the video. Hey!